Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to week 26 for Lamplighters League. Hope you're having a great day today. We're going to do Marteau's heist today. It's the final heist. Uh, I wanted to recap. End of the last video, we went into Eddie and we uh, we added this, the hit him fast. It's a passive ability. Gives him a 10% chance to gain plus one AP whenever he lands a crit. and can activate two times per round. So obviously this is really good for a crit style build. We also got hit him hard, which increases his crit chance by 20% until the end of a round if we manually reload. So we're going to want to be shooting a lot with him, right? I've also now gone in and uh, added in his gear. I've given him this. This weapon mod is called the Critical Talisman, and it gives him a plus 10% chance to crit. This is the same thing we have on Ingrid. We just got another one uh, at the, uh, the, the, the last week in those little extra missions. We brought back another one of these. So I've given this to Eddie. Then we used to have this one on Celestine, the Strum Talisman. 25% chance to inflict burning when hit. And uh, I've now changed this in Celestine. Celestine now has the Marteau Talisman. The Marteau Talisman gives a 75% a chance to inflict shocked when hit. And it also increases the base damage she does by 8% rather than 5% from this one. So ultimately, this is an upgrade. Higher chance to inflict a status and a higher base damage uh, gain on that, which is pretty, pretty good. Now, I was really hoping that we would have 500 supplies by the end of the last uh, mission. We only have 492. I was hoping for that because that's what we need to buy fair prices better here, but you armor. Know that. I really wanted to get body armor too for somebody, but we can't do that. So we won't. We could probably do the vitality gear too. I mean, all these things are, you know, they're, they're fairly good, but I was looking for that extra armor and it's really not that big of a change from 10 to 15. 50% more armor, I suppose is fine, but uh, what is it you? a lot of things shred armor now anyway. So anyway, uh, that's, that's that for that. So I'm going to go back to the world map. And we're now going to go to the heist. And it's right here, the other side. At the end of this week, Nicastro and Strum will both get stronger. They're both going to hit their break points. So we'll have to see what happens there. But Marteau won't. Uh, and we're going to have pretty much all the requirements necessary to go to the final mission, I think. So uh, encroaching darkness. The mission area is strewn with void generators all over the place. I assume we can shoot these and get rid of those. And get rid of the void areas. That's what I assume anyway. So we'll find out. Uh, we're going to get some Seric Steel for the end of this mission, which would be great for potentially giving someone else their ultimate weapon if we have enough points to do so, which we'll have uh, 14 from this and then another two. That's 16. So I believe that will give us another. Uh, we need 12, I think, to give ultimate weapons. So I might go ahead and give Celestine the ultimate weapon uh, for her uh, at that time. Uh, and then uh, and that's it. Yeah. And then we don't have anything else other than Trace Marteau being on the mission because we got rid of the Void lords or the shadow lords in the last one so all right here we go there's a four four person crew again loving that uh let's go ahead and change equipment in ingrid make sure she's got uh some good stuff here let's say i'm gonna give you uh, i will give you a grenade uh level two grenade one thunder bomb is great because it can knock down things so i i do like being able to knock down things at whim uh are on on command here we're gonna get rid of one of these medical packs i think let's go ahead and hit i think it's f there it is get rid of one of those uh eddie let's get rid of one of those on you as well uh he's got the dynamite i think i'd rather you not have dynamite i think i'd rather you have the grenade instead do damage now and then i'm gonna get rid of the grenade with you you have the viger tonic which is great refills all of their signature charges and then also a medical kit to help out that means we don't have a stress remedy on you and i feel like that's probably something we should have instead so let's put that on you too so you're gonna be full i think that's fine so that gives us two three let's do four medical packs so medical kit twos so ingrid will be full too which means we have two spare slots to pick up items with alexandrite and eddie i think that's probably fine uh ingrid's got the crit talisman there as well everybody's got that uh uh i don't know should i the 10 body armor is that better i think we should give you this instead strum garments right 
because it gives you the armor anyway, but also incoming fire damage being reduced. I think that's probably better, isn't it? Yeah, we should give you something different there. So there we go. We'll do that. And then uh, Eddie, is there a better talisman or a better accessory that helps you with your crit chances? I wonder. Uh, passive. Like, actually, I'm actually curious on that. Is there something we can go to the supplier for? Let me just double check this. Couldn't keep away, could you? I'm looking for something that we can do in that slot. Not weapon mods. I want, like, other types of accessories and stuff. Is that possible to get or no? I don't think so. I want other types of accessories that we could maybe put in to increase your crit chance. And it doesn't look like that exists. No. Could give you this instead, though. Just more damage. Could. What does Alexandrite have really quick? Does she have number one or number two on this? She has one. Hmm. So... I think instead of that, we do more damage. Eddie can cause a lot more damage. That's so good. But you'd have to put it in this slot. Yeah, and that, that would reduce your crit chance. So maybe not. I was hoping like this ability optimizer thing, we'd have something else in here that would help you synergize with this. In this case, it's just getting your cooldowns down, which I suppose is fine, but... Yeah, all right. I think that's, that's fine. Or... We're just gonna do it the way we have it now all right so go back in here the other side everybody's outfitted with what we need yeah seems good all right let's go the final heist the other side it is time my agents are now en route to a captured crossroads beacon there they will input the coordinates gleaned from the stolen transmat logs Enter the machine, and if all goes well, set foot in a realm of the dead called La Lacuna. There they will find Area X, Marto's most secret facility and the site of his Persephonite foundry. They must infiltrate Area X, steal an ingot of Persephonite, and escape the Lacuna. If there's a silver lining here, it's this. I have word that Marto himself is at a Beverly Hills function this evening. Let the Persephonite heist begin. We did it. We stand, living, in a realm of the dead. We must find the Persephonite before we can return to the realm of the living. Well, this is interesting. Wow. We're going to be in a black and white movie here, huh? All right, cool. Well, there doesn't seem to be any... Real quick checking this out. There doesn't seem to be anything that we can just take from this area. Nope. This is how we got there, right? Crossroads Beacon. So we're going to head down the stairs over on this side. And we see our potential conflicts before us. Real quick lore. Better that I hold on to this. Expeditionary Team 8, Log 3. A journal filled with waterproof paper bound in a cover of black uh, bakelite. It exudes an acrid chemical odor. Day five, they aren't coming. Those Marteau bastards have marooned us here in hell. After we sent the signal, we decided to fall back to the abandoned truck. We've been here for the better part of a day. If they were going to open the beacon, they'd have done it by now. I spent my last bullet getting us here. We're down to our boot knives and the ghosts are coming in. I can hear them out there. The ones that float and the ones that scuttle, swarming like ants. A dying fog. Dying frog. Sorry. They'll rip us apart. And it'll be mercy. Bianchi started coughing last night. Let's see if we can get all the logs. I want to read. I want to read their story so that they're not forgotten. For a moment, I thought I heard my father's voice. Oh, don't do that. No, don't do that. All right, uh, medical kit too. So we could grab another medical kit, probably worth doing. And, oh, well, ghost is here. Now, of course, we, we know we can't take them down. 
but if we can go this way really quickly, pick up that. A lost thing, now found. I'm wondering if we just go around them, you know, if we don't have to fight them, right? So more and supplies back here. here? Uh, I think there was another item over here, but I, I missed it because I was trying to stay away from the ghost. Yeah, it looks like it's more supplies. It would be a good thing to grab. Let's go do that really quick. And we'll see about moving along this creepy sort of magical wall. Energy barrier. Low hum issues from the seemingly impenetrable energy barrier. Barrier appears to run the entire perimeter of area X. Maybe we will have to do something with these guys to take that down. We'll see. Looks like we avoided that fight. Look at that. There's a way into area X. And there we go. We're going to open the door. Uh, we got another journal right here. I'd love to get that without fighting if possible. Uh, Expeditionary team eight log one. Okay. So a field journal filled with waterproof paper. On the cover of Black Lake, la, 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 la. day two, as ordered, we set out tagging equipment left behind by teams one through seven. Toussaint took point, followed by Gershon, Bianchi, and Mitchell. Samson and I held the rear. As we approached our destination, thing, these things swooped down on us. Apparitions. It seems, it sounds mad, I know, but we were attacked by ghosts. There are four of us now. Gerson and Mitchell are gone, carried off by those demons. And Toussaint has run ill. I don't know if that's how you actually say his name. But we have what Marteau sent us for. And all we need to do is get home. $10,000 split four ways. We'll be wealthy beyond our dreams. Yikes. I don't know if that's worth it, man. This is the kind of stuff you're doing for $2,500. bucks. Mm, I don't know about that, man. So again, we're just walking around these guys. Uh, I want to get around. Yeah, like this. And now we're over here. And there's no enemies in sight, at least in this far. This is a really good spot to be, though, if we do have to fight. Because it gives us lots the of really good cover. Hand appears to me. Uh huh. There's more lore over here. Let's take a look. This is log number two. Day four. Toussaint died yesterday. Flu got him. A detestable man, but not even he deserved to go like that. The sounds he made. I think that something was growing in his lungs. When he coughed, plumes of white powder spewed out. I'd have put him out of his misery if I could spare the bullet. But instead, I gave him the boot and sent him rolling downhill. Out of sight, out of mind. We have enough on our minds as is. We'll make it back to the beacon tomorrow. Me and Bianchi. She pulled through. Or she'll pull through. She's a tough old bird. And when we do get back, I have a few choice words for Trace Marteau. Oh, okay. I see. So you're going to get out of this alive just to kill yourself. Great. This uh, will serve. So that's some extra Steric Steel. Now we'll have two Steric Steel if we complete the mission. That's good. There's a Stress Flask too. That sounds like a really good thing to pick up. I think I'd like to have Celestine have that though. So why don't we go ahead... We'll drop this one. Oh, this is a stress flask, not the remedy. Okay, never mind. Pick that up. Eddie, you can have that. Shame. Someone left this lying around. Yeah. I think I almost want to have Ingrid have that instead, but it's all right. All right. So we've uh, managed to get three of the logs already and no fights. And we know where the door is, so we can just walk through it. Assuming, of Everything course, has a use. that we avoid fights even further remember we don't have to fight them they're here we can avoid it and we should if we can we should all right there's a motive fate over there too this gets us around all the fights and gets us through the doors there we go welcome to area x oh boy Let's see what we're dealing with here. I almost... We, ha we have a one reinforcement pad here. 
kind of want to get into cover. It seems like a nice spot to take cover really quick. And then we'll go ahead and have... There she is. Go ahead and have Celestine run around by herself. So these are the void generators that we... Uh... Is that the stuff? No, no, it can't be that easy. If you want to get your hands on my Persephone, you're gonna need to work for Marto, where is he? Doesn't matter. We've got to figure out how to knock that barrier down. We get him out of here. Yep, there we go. And then we're gonna also gonna want to get him as well. Hey, what's that over there? See if we can get you to walk into that one. Okay, those two are done. Uh, Celestine. So yeah. Anyway, this is the void generators and stuff. They're just gonna make this void surface everywhere. I think I need. Okay, I'm going to need Eddie for this. Or maybe just a silver key. There's another person over here. See if I can get this guy knocked out. He's, I'm hoping he walks that way. If he walks back, that's fine too. Come on. Come on. Uh, this this will work. I'm fine with this. Now back to the shadows. Really, uh very specific on when that thing shows up so i got my friends over there in the safety of Our cover Intel said Marto was to be at a party i am at a party i tapped into your radios between courses oh my god it's your lucky day i've decided to give you a sporting chance thank you Trey. all you have to do is shut down a few generators and you'll have a shiny ingot of your very own <laughs> He's pretty fun, isn't he? Uh, a Leatherbound Journal 3. Okay, there's other journals here. The Lacuna, our very own untamed frontier. Discovered through science, explored through grit, and industrialized through sheer Marto know-how. I feel like Galileo, Columbus, and Rockefeller all rolled into one. Imagine a fit of old Pope Pius will pitch. Uh, the, imagine the fit old Pope Pius will pitch. When he finds out about this, a Moto branded afterlife, colonized and commodified. The now eternity, slicker and better by far than whatever the church is peddling. Can't get into heaven? Afraid of hell? Come on out to the lacuna. We're open to all and we are hiring. How many afterlifes are there, I wonder? A thousand? A million? Whatever the number, I'm going to put my fingers into every one of them. You mark my words. By the time I've finished, there won't be a heaven, hell, or an in-between realm that doesn't wear the Marto name. This guy's weird. It is cool to have your own private realm, though, I suppose. Like, there's... Certainly very cool. Uh, looks like we can go out that way, too. More that direction. Hmm. I almost want to explore that direction first. Uh, we do need one... We want to get around... I think I pretty much took everybody out on this side, but they might be looking for us if they found the bodies. So let's just make sure we're not kind of setting ourselves up here. We'll have Celestine go around this way really quick. We have the sneak do it, of course, because her detection radius is way lower. Area X generator manual. This folio style manual is filled with realms of technical jargon about the basics of Marto generator design, the size and weight of the chassis, the mechanical operation of the internal rotor, the strength of the electromagnets. And finally, a relevant line reveals itself. In the rare event of lacunic energies putting the generator into a runaway state, an emergency shutdown may be performed by disconnecting or destroying the voltage regulator. See figure 148B. As this method will cause irrevocable damage to the generator's machinery, it should only be used as a last resort. Okay, so... If we can get the generator into a runaway state. That's the thing we got to do. So we can find all the manuals. That'd be good. So there's one out of four manuals. We have to circumvent the energy barriers. Okay. So yeah, we just have to find all the manuals. Let's go this way. More lore. Leatherbound journal one. The script. Neat and tidy. Executed with a draftsman's hand. Another night. Another social gathering. Normandy this time, strictly black tie, lousy with statesmen and debutantes. Some chinless aristocrat's birthday, I think. But it wasn't his party for long. People are like moths, 
their attention goes to the brightest flame, and there's no light more dazzling than Trace Marteau. It started with whispers, like it always does. He's so handsome, such a visionary. The man of the future is here. Half a dozen drinks, jokes, and flirtations later, and I had them eating out of the palm of my hand. We closed out the party about half past two. I picked eight of my fawning devotees into the gleaming Rolls Royce. We set off in search of adventure. The car went over a cliff, I think. I remember blacking out behind the wheel. I woke up in my bed, safe and sound. The old emergency parachute yanked me out of harm's way and back through the crossroads, just like I built it to do. All things considered, it was a bit of a waste. The Rolls was a beautiful car. And I wasn't finished with my new friends yet. But until the crash, I had been, it had been a fine evening. I don't even have a hangover. I suppose that makes it a wash in the end. At least it wasn't boring. My god. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Uh, stress Remedy 2. I would like that. Let's drop Stress Remedy 1. And grab Stress Remedy 2 instead. Alright. Uh, what else do we want to look down? I can go down this way just to see what's over there. Inspect the drop-off. Something stirs at the bottom of the ravine. Between the poor lighting and the shifting lacunar environment, its form is impossible to make out. So this is where the sample of Persephone is. It's that direction. So we would want to go... Well, I guess it could be here too, right? Yeah, it's kind of everywhere. It's over there. It's over here. It's right there. It's over that way. Uh, the circumvent the energy barriers is probably what this one is. This might be an energy barrier thing. Either way, there's also like a whole lot of these uh, reinforcement pads here. And uh, if I don't have to fight, I would prefer not to. This is why Celestine's going at it alone. So that's a frag grenade. Uh, more supplies to pick up. Okay. What else do we got going on over here? Girders. Girders have been rejected for use by Area X's construction crews. A uh, sticker on the nearest girder marks it as prone to dimensional fatigue and unfit for Lucaner use. Looks like we have another mode of fate and possibly second wind right there. It's a little hard to tell without the color, but yeah. Crossroads Network Operations and Logistics 1. Introduction. This manuscript is intended for a living record of Mar Marteau Industries Crossroads Project. Living record. The exploration of the lacuna and the first documented case of the industrialization of an extra dimensional environment. Subsequent chapters will focus on different aspects of Crossroads development and our dominion, or sorry, our domination of the lucanar environment. All right, anything over here? I can't believe it was only guarded by that few, those few people. That's really not very well guarded at all, is it? We need a key to get in here, but it might be something that Eddie can take care of. Maybe. Let's head over here really quick. See what's over here. I can I can clamber over this. There's a door. Maybe a door back there on the gate. I don't see any more enemies, so. Yeah, I think it's kind of fine. Alright, let's see what happens if I clamber over here. Just as long as I don't trigger anything. Yeah, there's a door right here. So this might be This route takes us outside Area X's walls. Beyond its protection. Okay. Interesting. All right. So now I kind of know where that is. That's the clamber though. Oh, the door opens on this side. Okay. Cool. That door's open now. Everybody else can get that way too. All right. So, I've kind of explored the rest of this and it seems like there's no more enemies. So, I suppose that means we can get everybody else uh, over here to come with us. This way. To bring everybody else over. Uh, we're going to switch to Eddie really quick and shoot this generator. Uh, if I could just get a dual shot, yeah, on that generator right there. It's fine. I just want to eliminate that thing. We don't have to deal with any void anymore. It doesn't look like that's going to uh, trigger any reinforcements or anybody uh, fighting us, so we'll see. Uh, in 
inspect. Inert Persephonite. Metal ingots as yet untreated by Marto's Persephonite tampering or tempering process. These bars are chemically and supernaturally inert. So they're useless to us, essentially. Yeah, same thing here. Okay. How do we get past this? Energy projector. Sheets of scintillating energy crackle and wick out of these strange devices, forming an impenetrable barrier. Yeah, we're going to try to figure out how to get through that impenetrable barrier, hopefully without any reinforcements. I want to get in there too, although it may be... Once we take down this barrier, maybe this one will go away too. All right, so why don't we say we start by going through this door. If Eddie can break into that, he cannot. So we require a gold key to get through that. All right, so this is the one we can get through. So maybe we'll go this way first since we actually can go here. There we go. And then we'll see, uh, see what we get here. Move through this. And we know that there are some void touched stuff over here. We know that there's the, the ghost over here and a skelly over here. We saw that more skellies over here on this side. Actually quite a few skellies on this side. Um, going to really quick hit that lore. Spectronaut Field Journal 1. Made of waterproof paper, most of the pages have been fused together by an unidentified substance. There are HQ instructions. Spectronaut Explo Lambda. Deployed to investigate abnormal EAE activity in Sector A3. Active members include the following. Uh, we have Hannes, John Spencer, Duarte Costa... Um, long distance observations reveal large clusters of Lucaner thralls, Lucaner shades, and shadow lords in the vicinity of unidentified geological formations, yada, 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 apparently novel. These features do not appear in any previous survey of the quadrant. Okay. So they're just like people here researching it, trying to figure it out. Okay. Uh, I feel like I want to take these guys down. So I'm going to try to pull him over here if I can. They're not immune to takedown, are they? They're immune to shock damage, but I think the... They're not immune to takedown with Ingrid. Like, I could I could have Ingrid go ahead and do that, right? Pretty sure. If they get close enough together, I can just hit them. I think that's what we're going to do with these guys. If they get close enough together, if they line up, then we'll just have Ingrid kill them. Have Ingrid take them out. Come on, come on back this way. Come on. Welcome to the... What? Ah. Uh. Why is Claude Death leaving? Hold on. Uh, this is... <laughs> it's just the foreman's office. Have fun. I gotta take care of something. Why is Claudette leaving? Ah. Uh, so they're not gonna line up for me? I'm gonna... I might wait him out. Try to line him up. That way we can just focus all of our efforts on this. Although, I mean, if it's just the three... I have a feeling it won't be just the three of them. It'll be these guys too. I'm trying to avoid having... Having that to deal with behind us. Oh, hang on. Yeah, he's just got a question mark, but that's okay. Come on, line up for me. I can barely see his sight lines. Where's the other one? Line up for me. Come on. He's over here, isn't he? Walk this way. There he is. Come on. Got him. Nap time. They're down. And now we can open up on the shade. Yep, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna barge in there. Screw it, get in there. Very well. I could use the practice. All right, there are four enemies active. Figured that was gonna happen because these guys back here are gonna join the party as well. I was trying to avoid that, but apparently we are close enough somehow for that to be a thing. We will focus this guy, and then we'll just wait for the other ones to come to us. Okay, so the first thing to do, I suppose, is to assess. Whether is it worth cursing? You know, we can curse him and then eh, stab, stab twice. I'm not sure it matters, um, especially since I think with Ingrid, we could just take him down as well. Uh, they take more burning damage, so we can try the Salamander first. We want to do this back in the in the rear here so that we don't have to have Ingrid standing in the fire. She might still have to stand in the fire. We'll do it anyway. I've always got a light. 
he takes bonus damage for that I don't think we need to worry about the curse to be honest I think we could just go in there and do it uh we'll just take the whispering knife here the zero percent because he has an evade all right we can we can push through that evasion um I think we'll start with this um just to make sure he doesn't hit us we're not going to be able to fully cover ourselves against a You're shade scared, this close to us that can teleport and uh I just don't want to get it I don't want to take any damage here so we're just going to leave ourselves out in the open here for now I think those guys are far enough away to not be a problem and we'll take the dual shot here instead which will miss the first shot but the second one should hit all right it's going to be a graze apparently evaded both I didn't realize you had that much evasion built up um I don't think ghost fire will matter but we can get serpent on cooldown this should do nicely and then uh we'll take two arcane bursts at it with the heavier heavier the shot here is mightier than the sword lucky shot bop very good and then we don't have any more ammunition for that so we could let's just go in and move at that point we'll move back to uh here full cover from that direction uh Ingrid we can take the fallen and then stand in one place or we can move closer I think I want to keep you out of the void if possible and we still have Celestine which can rogue here to add more I mean honestly we probably we could have stressed it out if we had cursed it that actually would have happened take the whispering knife anyway poison within poison without all right taking more damage that way and then it, it, we just we just kill it with the fallen now 85 percent brings it down to one hp really no hard feelings a worthy performance wow okay fine rogue here kill nothing I will not ah. do we missed never mind You'll piper's bane will time. miss because of uh well his shot will miss because of piper's bane he has he'll now overly stressed out yeah yeah so he's super stressed out now well that's good um we're not going to be able to reset anything so I'm going to move Celestine this direction and our allies will just kill it turns it into a little phantom ball and there's two skellies and I think another ghost on this side so once the skelly happens here yeah, there's the ghost on that side so now there's four enemies again or are you counting the you counting the stress the little shade ball here yeah I think it's counting this all right no big deal um Ingrid we can just have you let's just have you punch it just have you punch it and then move this way there we go uh Eddie's got three more turns on Piper we'll move you to here so you can shoot your dual shot pop pop wow ever since I gave you all those great great skills you just keep missing sure sure Watch. rogue the hand is everybody the missing eye. wow everybody's missing all right maybe we can stress this thing out I don't know didn't think we'd be able to uh it is just one tile too far yep okay uh we'll just I think we'll just go into here then and then Celestine I'll build an evade with you I guess we'll wait so they have to come to us Ingrid's a little bit in danger if the ghost can get within range but I still think he's one turn away from being able to do that because the skellies can't do anything there he is and he can't do anything yet so he's a he's out of evade and he's doing his little cone thing so we're gonna have to all move uh, unless we kill it if we can kill it then we don't have to all move I'm gonna tether this to you and then I can ghost fire that just you half health Wow uh Ingrid take the fallen against this guy oh wait shit I didn't curse him first oh I need to curse him first dummy 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 curse first here Dread. okay good now let's 
try some gambit here. All right. I think I can get... No. Still not close enough for the adder's kiss. I can do rogue here. That'll add two points. Curse adds one stress. And now it's just about... I mean, Eddie can just shoot it now, right? Yeah. So we'll just do the dual shot here. That's one and then two. Pop. Pop. Always got more ammo. No more cone. We get one APA for all sorts of people here. Got everybody grazed and crazy and all that. All right. So Eddie can do a finisher. I want to see if I can get Celestine close enough to take that guy's like take mind control on that guy is what I was hoping to get but I don't think so she's got three AP we can go in and we can grab yeah you yeah I want to get this guy let your mind go blank listen only to me all right we don't have to do anything now we just win so we'll take and destroy this guy get that back whispering knife is reset go ahead and get this guy and he's ours we already know he's ours I could just hit him but I'd rather just scoot back let him take a turn and do whatever he wants to do we're cleansed out of the void there we go Ingrid just come on up in here I don't really care where let's just stand here and Eddie I'll have you stand over back here. All right. So the skeleton is something we're just going to kill this turn, but I wasn't confident I could kill it this turn and I knew I was going to be standing close enough for it to get me. So figured might as well take it by the mind for now. There we go. All right. It's close enough for us to just kill it this turn now. So... We'll go ahead and do that. Eddie, take the first couple shots here. Dual shot one, two. Pop, pop. Shredding the armor is nice. Uh, we don't have another shot with you. Reload. Plus crit chance. Wonderful. Uh, we can take the push kick. I can take a... You can just hit him, right? I'm just going to go in there and hit him. Next turn. Right here, yeah. We'll just strike him right there. Uh, Celestine, we can do the adder's kiss on him on this side. So we'll do one stab. Wop. And then we'll stab him on the other side this time. Over here. Bop. True my eye. True my mind. You could teach me a few things. And we'll just strike him here. Well, not quite the adventure I was imagining, darlings. But right. it will have to do. Don't wander. Okay, good. So, uh took out those guys. No big deal. I don't think there's really anything super. Well, I was going to say there's not something super important over here, but there is the inside of this place and it does look like one of the generators is here, right? So maybe this is what we need to damage. That is something. Crossroads Network Operations and Logistics 2. Persephonite, early discovery and usage. The Crossroads project was made possible by the discovery of Alloy X, a naturally occurring metal with occultic properties. Our founder, Trace Marteau, pioneered a method to synthesize Al Alloy X by leveraging the energies present in the Lucanar environment. The synthetic Alloy X, trade named Persephonite, is the backbone of the Marteau Industries machine. We would be nothing without it. The synthesis of Persephonite takes place at Area X, our state-of-the-art outpost and foundry within the Lacuna. Here, we can easily reproduce the conditions that produce Alloy X, despite their fantastical rarity in the natural world. This innovation is the single biggest contributor to Marto Industries' domination of global technology markets. With an endless supply of Persephonite, physical law is as malleable to our researchers as corporate law is to our operations team. I hear a sentry or sentinel over there. Yep. So an adapted motorcycle, uh, model X electric motorcycle complete with sidecar. The tires look purpose built for the Lucuna environment 
with deep treads and high sidewalls. I can't zoom in on it. Looks like a normal bike to me. <laughs> All right, uh, try over here. They have some more the stuff there and a brass key. Now found. Very good. So we could maybe maybe open this, but we know there's people like right on the other side of this. I think we're gonna wait. I also would like to know what to do with this. Like, do I just shoot it? Let's find all the generator manuals. Um, or circumvent the energy barriers. Like, it's got to be one of those two things, right? It's this symbol. So, got another medical kit here. Not really anything I need to worry about grabbing just yet. But we'll keep make a note that we know where it is. Maybe, uh, maybe we just shoot it. Is that what this is? Floor, here it here? is. All right, operations medical reference card. Lucanar maladies ranked by severity, symptoms, and response. Luc lacuna flu. Uh, symptoms, cough, fever, obstructed airway, death. <laughs> response, believed to be eradicated in the event of a suspected case, isolate and alert management immediately. Acute Persephonite or, uh, particulate inhalation sickness or apis. Numbness, lethargy, paralysis, death. Refer to management for offsite care and debrief. Void, semi fluid, exposure sickness, or VSS. VSS. Photosensitivity, stroke, depression, moral insanity. Refer to management for offsite care and debrief. Pretty much the, that's going to be the, that's going to be the, the go to for everything, isn't it? Just, Tell management and they will eject them to a random location somewhere, right? <laughs> Acute radiation syndrome, nausea, vomiting, seizures, coma, death. Evaluate and treat by severity. Mild cases should be treated on site to minimize employee downtime. For severe cases, refer to management for offsite care debrief. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. So I'm wondering if I just need to shoot the stupid thing. It's right here. So if I was to get Eddie, can I shoot it? Yeah, just shoot it. That's gotta be the answer for everything, isn't it? Shoot it. Bang. My poor generator. Yay. I hope you don't destroy the other two. <laughs> anyway, I'd explain what an insulation screen is and why that one was critical, but it's probably a bit over your heads. Uh, you'll find out on your own soon enough. <laughs> okay cool all right well that's great that's Wait, one down uh and that's apparently the uh the the answer for all of them so we know again we know there's going to be people on this side i'm not entirely sure if they're going to immediately see me or not but we'll we go ahead and open this quickly. and let's take an uh, evaluate here because they are everywhere man these guys can see. Working on a little surprise for you, lamp lighters. Ooh, watch your step. Okay, I think I got this. We're gonna take uh, Ingrid. Ooh, I can't quite. Here, try this. Something's off here. Out of the way. Ingrid's gonna take them down. <laughs> surprise! I did tell you to watch your step. All right, so. I thought I might be able to get back to the rest of my team before that happened, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to take, because we have all our guys back here. They're not really in a great position, but we can take uh, mind control of somebody over here. So I'm going to move Alexandrite to this position. Should be able to at least reach that guy. Yeah, right here. I think I'm going to do this. Let's grab you. Uh, we'll take the serpent now to get that on cooldown. I do want to see how many AP you're going to end up getting. Let the cards fall as they so may. I'm going to try this three times at most, maybe four. I do have a stress remedy two, but that gives me one and gives me two more. Can I get a fifth? I will face my fate. No. Okay. I think I'm happy with four. Uh, we're going to... We're going to try to get into range of that guy right here. I think we'll try this this point first. So we can grab we can grab you and we can grab you. Okay, and then for our 
Where is Alexandrite? Right here. For the tether, we have access to the bat guy. That's good. Okay, wow, we have access to this guy way back here, too. That's interesting. Okay, tell you what. Why don't we grab you and tether you to you? Hmm. I kind of feel like taking control. Like, I'm going to need to use Celestine to, to take to get my stuff back and I want to have it be way over there. So I think I'll actually put it on you instead. Yeah. So that'll be how we tethered that. Uh, Celestine, you're going to curse this one. I am every horror made real. Every horror made real. Um, we are going to want to get Eddie in position to shoot him. Right here would be working. All right, Eddie, you're going to shoot at this guy. One, two. Pop, pop. A lot of missing going on with Eddie right now. I'm not sure what's going on there, but there's a lot of missing. I'm not a fan. You might think I'd be a fan of the missing, but I'm not. We learn from failure, I suppose. Maybe it's just the... I think it's the void, right? It obscures chances to hit, right? Unless units standing in void move faster but have lower accuracy. Okay, so that's not it. Cursed, tethered, uh, approaching darkness. Hmm. I knew it had something to do with accuracy, but I thought it was those that are in the void maybe be harder to hit, but that's not the case doesn't seem to be the case anyway uh, we can do fall in here and that will freak him out right away uh or i can move myself into position to strike here instead and then be able to do like a push kick or or something else over on that side but i kind of want to get back with the rest of my team so i think that's what i'll do instead i'll come back here like this glass we'll pop him in the face that's what i like to see It'll stress him out. Gives a whole bunch of AP to us. So Celestine's back to four. And she has no stress. So we'll go gamble again. Excellent. That's what we want. All right. The first thing we're going to do then is mesmerize this guy. Steal your mind. Let me in. So he's on our team now. We're going to make our way over to this guy. So that we can take our, our, our ability back. So we'll go ahead and finish off here. There we go. To slay. Quickly now. now we're going to uh, move this side. About here should do it. We're going to mesmerize. Let's take this guy. Your mind is mine to command. And then we'll get this guy for free. Restoring our mesmerizations. Mesmerizations, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, and then uh, I think at this point we could probably just stay here. I think this is a void generator, though, isn't it? So maybe we should just hit this. I could back up and hit it. Why don't we back up and hit it? Try the cult one more time. I fly, or I All right. Fall. Well, I mean, if I can't back up, I can't back up. Uh, Ingrid could do the falling on it. She's also potentially going to get. Uh, damaged here. Uh, I would like to be. I like this to be two on two. Uh, and we do have reinforcements coming later too, so we don't want to. We don't want to take take another guy. We want to wait on that. So I'm gonna move back. I think with Celestine, we'll put her back to here as full cover. Ingrid can come back to, let's say, this point. I kind of want you to be closer though. Let's get you in cover here. And then we'll take fall in here. You can't stop me. And blow that up so we don't have that void anymore. All right. So obviously we're gonna hit our friends uh, as well, but I'm hoping our friends also hit our enemies. There we go. That's nice. Daze him. Okay, that's good. I'd hope I would prefer you to do damage, but if you want to just run out in the open and get shot, I'm fine with that too. Smoke is not great. 85 damage, and he shredded her armor. 
that's no bueno. All right. So, uh, Ingrid, let's go get you some revenge, girl. Uh, we want to move you over. Uh, yeah, push kick, stick and move. Could try stick and move on this guy, move over to here and get him. But I, I really think I need to get this guy. If I pop Salamander here, the AOE will last, what, four rounds? Unit suffers fire damage round until extinguish. Last one round is what it says, but that's just the effect. I don't know how how long the fire lasts. That's what I'm trying to prepare for. Also, wasn't there another reinforcement pad in this area? I thought there was two of them. No, it's just this one here. Okay, well, is what it is. Ah, uh, we could try the occult again. The dust of the coin. All right, I want to get Whispering Knife on this guy. It's only 30%, though, because he's in that fog. There's no chance to hit him there. One more. Okay, we're going to get we're gonna get right in there and, and stab him instead. So let's move you up to this point. Yeah, Adder's Kiss. Nope. No, 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 nope. no. We're moving in again. Move right in here. And now we're going to Adder's Kiss from this side. Stab him. Your time has come. 45 damage. Let's go ahead and see if we can't gamble a little bit more here. It'd be nice if he was cursed, because then I could just do it for free all the time. Mm, one more. Come with me. I am ready. Mm, one more. <laughs> there it is. I feel more confident now. Uh, stab him again. Ah. He's shocked. Very good. And stab him one more time. Stab. All right. We're going to be stopping here, which means our back is turned to this guy. Oh, wait. I got another AP? How did that happen? Uh, well, gift horses, right? We're not, let's not look him in the mouth. Um, put him over. Uh, Alexandra can go here. I'm going to have you shoot at somebody. Uh, you can't. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's do Shield Maiden on Ingrid. There you are. Because she is wounded already. And then I need to get you over closer to this guy. So I'll get you over here. I think we'll do a stick and move. At this point, like that is fine. Pop. You blinked. And then I can get my free action and move over here into cover. And then maybe even push kick. I'd only be able to push you that way. I think I'd rather push you, but then you're on my team. I don't want to push you if you're on my team. So I guess I push you here. You guys shouldn't attack me this round. So let's push kick you this way. I am tired of your face. And that'll get you knocked down. Uh, we'll take the brass key while we can. And then the whispering knife can go at this guy. I am That'll weaken dagger. him down. The dagger is me. All right. So all things good there. Uh, we're going to get Eddie in position to uh, try to get his overwatch on this stuff later. So you're going to have to start shooting these guys too after this turn. Uh, okay. Yep. Phantoms go first. I do nothing. He's dead now, isn't he? You just killed that guy. You shot him right in the face. While he was down. That's crazy. Absolute crazy talk there. All right. So I think Eddie, you've got a barrage we could do to hit these two targets. I know that's not really the best usage of your barrage, but these guys have a lot of health. I'm not sure we can freak him out again. It would be cool if we could, but we don't have a uh, curse this turn. So we're going to have to take control of one, and it's going to be this guy because he's got most, the most health. So we're going to mesmerize I here. Free you from the burden of choice. He is mesmerized now. He should be on our team. He is. And this guy here is going to get whacked. 
if I may be so bold as to say. Uh, 100% shot here. Uh, then I won't have my... Uh, maybe the Arcane Burst will do it. Uh, yeah, okay, I think Arcane Burst will put him in range anyway. Let's hit him. What I'm hoping is that Bullseye kills him. That way I get my Overwatch. It doesn't. 21 health remaining. Unless he crits. I suppose he could crit, right? Let's give it a shot. He's got 2 AP. Right? There's a, if crits give you... Uh, there's a 58% chance to crit here. 100% to crit. Oh, right. We get that 10% chance of a bonus AP is what I'm hoping for here. Another one Bang. The dust. We don't get the bonus AP there, but... He did crit, though, and that means he's dead. He is actually gone now. Okay, good. So, overwatch this direction. That'll do. First sign of movement. Uh, we're going to put... I was going to put ghost fire on this. But now I'm thinking Ingrid can walk up. If she can get this close, we just put salamander on that. No, I think I'd rather have the ghost fire on it. So we'll get Ingrid to move up and stand like right here. She'll get her hits, get her licks in, right? Right in this spot. Right there is good. Celestine will do the same thing with you. Just get you. I think I'm actually going to take an Adder's Kiss here. One stab there. I mean, we're going to eventually need him to die anyway. So I think we take a two Adder. If we take a double Adder's Kiss from this spot, there's a good chance she gets to do the overwatch anyway. But I don't want good chance. I think I want really good chance. So, although we need to have, we need to give them room to spawn too. All right, let's hit him twice. We'll hit him from here. All right. Alexander, it's all that's left. And the ghost fire, I can't quite reach it. Damn. All right, well, we'll move up so that we can ghost fire the rest of the pod later, I guess. Uh, how about... How about here? All right. Yeah, our friend is going to... Aw. Uh, our friend was drawing the damn overwatches. Shit. Why? He's a friend. Why does he become not a friend? Is it because we hit him three times? Is that how it works? If you hit him three times, they stop being your friend? They're not really a friend, I suppose, right? So... There's another Overwatch shot good. We should have some, yep, Overwatch there. And okay, so let's see what we got, what we're dealing with here. Can I get another mind control charge? Uh, this guy looks like he's a good candidate for it. If we curse him, we get 101 health. Uh, I think I like the 240 guy more here. Curse here. It just depends on whether or not we can tether it. Can we tether him? Get one AP. It's time to focus. If I move you, because the tether is not on cooldown, I just have to have vision of two targets in order to use it. So if I move you here, I should be able to use it. So what we want to do is tether you to you. Yes. You look nervous. Okay. Now we can get Celestine. We're going to go curse on this guy. I think. You've got what? One, two, three, four, five left? No, you have six left because this isn't there yet. And you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. But you have so much more health that I'm more confident we can get to you. So I'm going to do that. Because so this guy probably dies before we actually get a chance to do what we need to do. So Adder's Kiss can happen uh, here for free. So we'll hit this once. He's going to be shocked. He's taking double the, double the stress damage. We'll hit him again. Pop. There we go. All right, very good. Uh, we want Alexandrite to hit. Uh, I think I could probably just wait for the ghost fire there. Ingrid, if we strike here, I think I want to strike this guy here. So we'll hit him once. Bop. 
That adds stress. He's now down to just one pip left. And that's going to be where Eddie comes in, I think, here, because Eddie needs to hit everybody. I can't believe there's not a second win we're going to get access to here, so I'm going to use it. This is the time to use it, I think. So we're going to hit this right here. That'll freak both of these two out. See, now you done pissed me off. So these guys are both freaked out now. We're going to get extra... Extra phantoms of our own to hopefully go after this guy now. Uh, and now what we can do is Celestine can do the finisher here. Give my regards there we to go. The we have our finisher back. Um, I don't think it's necessary to do anything else because he is going to cause stress for this guy anyway. So I'm going to take this now like this. He gets stress plus three. I guess didn't totally stress him out, but still, that's a lot. And then uh, we can go in with Whispering Knife here and, and do some substantial damage. Which I think is probably for the call here. Let's do that. Steel, bright and sharp. All right, good. And I think now we'll just take Ingrid. She's got three AP. She comes in here. She strikes once. Pop. He should freak out, right? Gives us even more phantoms. We get our finisher for free there. And now with three AP, we go marching all the way to this guy. Start messing with him. Strike here. Pop. 32 damage. Very good. Alexandrite can hit Ghostfire here. Get it on cooldown anyway. Enemies alerted. Uh huh. Well, you're going to get smacked by Ingrid as soon as you move. Hopefully, my phantoms do something. No, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. And that Pop. is that. All right. I think that worked out all right. Yeah. I definitely didn't use any uh, items either. Didn't use anything. Uh, well, we can use the med pack. Ingrid can have uh, Stay put. her med pack here usage. That will do. So we know where the replacement med pack for that is. We can go grab it. It's back in that building. Oh, we're just constantly getting shocked here, aren't we? Let's move out of this. I'm not sure what's shocking us. Is it just this being in proximity to this stuff? Because, oh yeah, something keeps... Uh, I think it's the cabling on the ground keeps shocking us. So we just want to avoid that, I guess. Uh, another frag grenade. Man, they, they really have a lot of frag grenades here. Uh, I'll tell you what, Celestine, why don't you... Uh, a moment. Why don't you go alone for a bit? Just so I don't have to deal with everybody else getting shocked all the time. Probably should make sure that you guys are safe where you are, though. Move you over just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to go this way, then. Uh, some more lore here. Crossroads Network Operations and Logistics 3. Early Crossroads Development, Milestone, and Mishaps. The costs of early crossroads development, uh, network development, human plus monetary, were higher than the board would have liked. It is our hope that by examining what went wrong in early Lacunar uh, exploration, such missteps might be avoided in future exploratory endeavors. Reese proposal 12, 1930. Our earliest Lucanar explorers were desperates. Injured line workers, convicts, street urchins, and hobos in search of a hot meal. These unskilled workers were inexpensive to recruit and easily intimidated and were invaluable in gathering data on the immediate threats posed by the Lucanar environment. Of the 322 individuals sent through the earliest Crossroads beacons into the Lacuna, there were 18 survivors. Of the dead, roughly half were claimed by wild EAEs the remainder succumbed to the Lacuna flu, a respiratory malady which was later determined to have been caused by the inhalation of native pollen. Marto Industries has since eradicated responsible flora through the mass application of sodium chlorate. This operation was considered a resounding success and is held as a model for future efforts at taming liminal spaces. The 56 staff members lost over the course of Operation Ragweed were deemed acceptable losses by the board. Crazy. 
I I just I just want to take it all in. It's just I don't have a this is this is nuts stuff, right? This is the these are the types of things that uh you read about in articles of companies doing crazy things in the past, you know, like th when we built the Mackinac Bridge in Michigan, right? There are bodies in that bridge. That kind of stuff, right? And yet we still use the bridge, still allowed to exist. And it'll be the same way with stuff like this too if he has his way and there's all these different dimensions you can go through. Everybody will just be using them all willy-nilly like, ha ha ha, this is great. But, you know, the costs that went into making it, you know, the the perspective that people have, it will be written by the victors, right? We go! Is this a door we can get through? It is indeed. We have, we need to find all these manuals. Hey, hey, you found the EFL. Technically, it's our actinic force lab, but nobody calls it that. Go in, poke around. You'll love it. He thinks this is like a... He's always a showman, you know? He knows we're after him, but he's just like, there's no way they can win, so enjoy it. <laughs> EAE reference guide. Know your EAEs. A reference for Area X employees. Endemic apparitional entities are the most dangerous hazards that Area X employees are likely to encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. By understanding these entities, you will maximize your odds of making it through an encounter in one piece. Look in our thralls, mindless but territorial in dangerous and dangerous in packs. Where there's one thrall, there's bound to be half a dozen more. Thankfully, Marto Industries energy barriers are a safe and effective deterrent. Look in our shades. The infamous Lucana Ghost, commonly spotted in the Lucana Frontier. When traveling outside of Area X, stay with your patrol team. A well-armed group has better odds of surviving a shade encounter than an isolated employee. Shadow Lord. The apex predators of the Lucanar environment, like the grizzlies of Alaska or the white sharks of the Pacific. The best defense against the Lucanar Lord, or Shadow Lord, is not to encounter one in the first place. Stick to approved and monitored roads and pathways. Use the buddy system and stay alert. Well, we got rid of those. We don't have to worry about those. We're still going to use the buddy system, though. Let's open this up. See what's inside here. Got more uh, more void being generated in this location. Uh, I'm looking for... I know where our medical packs are, but I was kind of hoping maybe just to find one along our journey here. So I didn't have to backtrack. Uh, film canisters. Reels of film d uh, documenting Marteau's experiments in the Lacuna. Study of the Lacuna and its effects on terrestrial matter. Subject 56, 30 days beyond the Lacuna frontier. Yada, 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 yada. He's making, he's making things. Uh, this is a healing elixir, and I kind of feel like maybe swapping out... I don't know, like a med pack for it? I don't know if that's really a good idea. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we're not doing that. Yeah, I can Let's pick this. up this for now. Um... I mean, I have two med packs on her. You know, like I could just use the healing elixir on both of us really quick. There's, there's barely any damage though. It seems like a waste. Let's go through this door. Follow me. All right, everybody, yeah, follow her. And this lore here, Leatherbound Journal Five. EAEs, Lucaner Shades, Ghosts, whatever you want to call them, they're real. I still can't get over it, and yet, better yet, they're mine. Well, okay, not mine, mine, like Strum's mummies or Nicastro's sea beasts. There's room for improvement there, I'll admit, but they get the job done all the same. Makes me think about growth and the future of Marto Industries. Obviously, there's a lot of liminal spaces out there. An infinite number, maybe, who knows? So what percentage of them is inhabited? As Marto Industries stretches to encompass all this new space, we're going to need to take these new things creatures, whatever you want to call them, into the fold. Imagine that. A million alien beings from a million alien dimensions all fulfilling their destinies. All working for me. 